The millennial students in the Generation X, they know how to use the technology from a social perspective and an entertainment perspective. But really what I think the opportunity and the, perhaps a gap is how do you then bring it into their environment where it's an education tool. We all use these technology devices 24-7 now and so uh, an opportunity to use those as part of our learning for students is an awesome part of our future. Computers are really amazing tools that everyone uses every day for multiple things. Usually other kids they just do like games and stuff on there but I actually do educational games on there. It's made education easier to access. Technology in a 21st century school uh, should allow for uh, both students and teachers to have ready access to information that's available on open source um, resources anywhere in the world at any time. So we can adapt more, we can personalize more, we can achieve things for teachers in ways that we couldn't before. I think that technology transforms teaching by putting our focus where it should be, not on students memorizing discrete facts and data or events or, or dates, um, but, um, but by forcing us to have students um, answer messy questions and problems and deal with more real situations. It's certainly making a lot of resources uh, far more available to uh, teachers and to students. So the idea of open online educational resources is emerging and the idea of teachers doing shared uh, lesson designs and standing on each other's shoulders so that we're all working toward the same goals together. As schools should be the great uh, equalizer in access to opportunities, we strive to do that by having an abundance of technology and having teachers that are savvy enough to use it in a smart way. I have a team of six teachers and we plan our units as a humanities block. So we've chosen to build all of our resources, our assignments, our quizzes, um, our activities, our interactive pieces, our flipped lessons um, into Schoology. It allows us then to quickly just add something that another person has created to our course. Because why? <coughs> Doing the lesson today is allowing students to really be where they need to be in the learning process and for me to target specific skills um, that students are struggling with or that they need that next level of, that extension. With the computer you have like a voice modulator here and you, have, um, you can read along with the story and uh, while you're typing you can highlight things. I think that the level of engagement in my class has increased, not just because of computers. I think computers is a part of it, but I think that computers allows me to put the learning back in the students' hands. We have to begin with a vision. We have to decide, okay, where are we headed? You know, any journey you have to decide on what's your destination. So um, we begin with this conversation. Ultimately, what our, our goal is to improve outcomes for our students. The power of the technology is access to subject matter experts, to guidance, to coaches, to, to knowledge, to information, to people. Are we using it to create simulated environments that allow students to participate in real-world scenarios, real-world crises, um, solve challenges in meaningful ways? It's a part of harnessing that energy and enthusiasm that students bring. It's a matter of bringing that equity to the classroom in terms of having uh, technology available on a widespread basis for every classroom and make sure that all kids are succeeding. Thank you.